Hi friends, welcome to my Learning Points YouTube channel. Today I will discuss on basic syntax and coding methods of PHP. In our last video, we discussed about how to set up PHP and server in our local computer. If you missed that video, please go through once. It is very important to start with PHP. So today we will discuss about some basic syntax of PHP, how we can write PHP, what is the correct way to write PHP. In our introduction tutorial, we have learned about how to create PHP file. So if we create a file and save that file as .php extension, it becomes PHP file. And in PHP file, we can write anything. Means in a PHP file, we can write HTML codes, CSS code, and also JS code. To write a PHP code, we need to write within a PHP tag. In a PHP file, anywhere we can write PHP tag and inside that tag, we can write PHP code. Now I will show you some example to more clear. So, I am using the NetBeans editor. You can use your editor, any editor, you can write PHP code. I just create a PHP tutorial folder in our www folder and created a dot in index.php file. So inside the index.php file, we can write anything. This is the PHP file. So to write PHP code, we need to add php tag first and inside that tag we can write anything in the same way in php file we can write html element also inside the html element we can anywhere can add php tag and we can write our code so you can understand in php file you can use html code also and if you want you can add external css or js also just like in html css whatever you have learned so you can add here in a head tag like in initialize by initializing script tag you can add any JS file. You can add any JS file. And same like in, inside in link tab, link tag, you can uh, add any CSS file. No problem on that. Okay. So we can write uh, in PHP file all of these things. Now, I am going to show you some another things. To print something, I want to uh, write code in PHP. To print something, we are using echo keyword. Here, we can see hello, we can write hello PHP. Okay, means when I will run this program, it will print hello PHP. We need to run in this way. We have a server in our localhost. In localhost, I have uh, created a PHP tutorial and inside that PHP tutorial, I have created index.php. By default, in index.php will call. So if we don't know, if I not use index.php, also it will run. So you can write index.php or if you have any other file, you can write others name also. Like others, semicolon is the end statement of PHP. It means in a PHP statement, always it ends with colon and here we can see the echo echo is the php keyword 
Now one point, PHP keyword is not a case sensitive. So we can write echo in this way also. We can write echo in this way. So if we write echo as in caps, no problem on that. So you will get output hello PHP, hello PHP. So in both case, PHP will print. So in this video, we got some concept of PHP programming. How to print something, how to declare variable, how to print variable. So please try at your own PC. If you have faced any problem, please comment in this video. Please like this video if you got any help by this video and subscribe my channel for more video. So next day, I will discuss about PHP variables, data types and related things. So keep watching my video. Thank you. Bye bye.